In other news, Abaco is bracing for a tropical storm impact from Hurricane Milton. The member of parliament for South and Central Abaco says that they are prepared for whatever the storm brings. Shalia Roll reports. As Hurricane Milton is about to make landfall in Florida, the northern Bahamas is expected to feel the outer bounds of this massive storm. As Bahamians are adhering to the necessary storm preparedness protocols, the Member of Parliament for South and Central Abaco says that they are already experiencing some effects of this weather system. We are watching Hurricane Milton as, as it approached and also the low pressure uh, disturbance that uh, grew on top of us yesterday. Um, we have had heavy rains and winds. It looks like we're in a bit of a low right now where it has calmed down, but more weather is approaching. There, We do have minor flooding in the low-lining areas. Um, well, we are watching it, and Public Works is on the road right now doing their assessments. Although the island is experiencing weather, the airport is still open, allowing visitors to travel. Pinder says that as there is still air travel, DRM officials are sending charter planes to the island to assist residents who may still have damage to their home. He informed us that he'll be um, sending a charter plane in with some tarps and other things to, um, to assist us with houses that may still be leaky uh, through the extensive rain that we've been having. As these northern islands are expected to experience tropical storm effects, the member of parliament says that the emergency command center is now open. Our incident command center will be open full time and fully staffed with um, with members from the relevant uh, agencies that deal with the emergency response. Uh, but we had opened this morning partially, so we are in place and ready to go. MP Pinder says that the hurricane shelters that are listed are ready to go once officials give the word to activate them. However, the hurricane shelter in Central Pines that was destroyed on the fifth anniversary of Hurricane Dorian is still under construction. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Shalia Rule.